Hello everyone and welcome back to Broccoli Master YouTube channel. So we will continue our student management system series and in this video we will see how can we deal with the password reset function. So if you are new to our YouTube channel, please make sure that subscribe it, like the video and share with your friends and family who are interested to learn a Django from the scratch. So now without wasting your time, let's begin it. On the screen you can see that when we click on the forget password then we are facing these steps of error and the error is mostly come from the template file on the forget password.html file so let me check what types of mistake we have made here okay so let me correct first there here we will open our forget password.html file and let me zoom it so that you can see it clearly so actually we are giving the route of password reset here so we don't need to give the route of password reset there okay instead of this we have to write the forget password route that we are defined in our urls so let me define it here okay and let's check what types of route we are given there so yeah finally we have done with that and again let's save it around our server start this so finally you can see that our forget password template is rendering successfully here so in this field we will give a email that we are registered in our student management systems authentication systems okay so let me give here our email properly at the rate email.com and click on the reset password so here is showing connection refuse error and the error is mostly come from our views.py file okay so let's solve this all the stops that we're facing here so in the reset password you can see that uh, we have defined the reset password.html file but we have not mentioned in our templates reset password.html file so we need to create the reset password.html file here so let me create one file and name it reset password dot html after that i have edited some of the code here i just paste it here and you don't need to worry about this all code i will provide the link of this code with in a description below you can just go there download it and utilize in your student management systems project okay so now let me save these files and again deface our browser here so again we are seeing the same problem so i think we also need to change in our settings.py files so in this settings.py files we need to add this code for dealing with the reset password so i have also mentioned this code and when you are going to deploy this project then please use this code instead of this i am using this email backend for only in the local host and when you are deploy this project then it will not work there you, you need to modify all these stops here okay so let me save this and again deface our page here let's see what apps you again showing so finally it is saying that the reset link sent to your email now let me check in our terminal and you can see here one of the link is provided here so let me click on it the reset password dot html file should be open here but it is not showing here i think we have made the mistakes in our route so let me make the modification also there the home auth views and in the urls uh, instead of this defining let's define like this let's save this again and deface our page so in the models.py files we have mentioned the reset link here and we have not mentioned here authentication as we are using authentication app there so let me make the modification here and save it again now again need to refresh the page so i am actually cancelling these all things and this it and again clicking on the forget passport giving our own email broccoli at the rate dot com after that clicking on the reset passport the link will be appear here so this is our link let's click on this 
and finally you can see that reset password.html file is not exist so i think we have made the template error there so in the home of views.py file we have put the reset password.html file in the authentication folder so we have not mentioned here let's also modify this authentication and save this file let's again refresh the page and finally we can see that the set password form is open here so i am giving simple password one two three four five again i am giving here one two three four five okay set password and try to log in again with a new password broccoli at the rate email.com and here we write one two three four five okay let's log in here so in this way you can make the modification for the reset password section so this is for today and in the next video we will see how can we deal with the notification systems in our student management system thanks for watching the video keep watching and keep coding